From the AutoNet menu, we can select the single pipe system. On the ribbon menu, all the commands that are needed to draw the system will appear. First of all we need to place the radiators either manually or with the automatic placement. With the automatic placement, we need to select the spaces that the radiators will be placed. The radiators will be placed near the windows. With the manually placement, we need to select the type of the radiator and then its coordinates. We can move, copy, and rotate the radiators. All the known commands in CAD programs can be used for the objects in AutoNet menu too. Select fittings to place the collector for the hot and cold water. The next step is to draw the circuit pipes. With the automatic placement we only need to select the collector, the radiators, and the collector that the pipe will return. From the grips we can curve the pipes so the plan view will be more realistic. Moreover there is a manual placement command, with that command we need to select the collectors, some middle points, and the radiator. The pipe will be automatically curved, depending on the points given. So easily all the circuits can be defined. After that we need to connect the second floor with the other floors. When we want to draw a pipe that runs between the floors, we will use the vertical pipe command. First we define a point to place the pipe. After that we will set the height of the lower and highest point. In this example the vertical pipe will connect the basement at minus 3 meters and the second floor at 3 meters height. With the same procedure, we can draw the circuit on the first floor.
In the basement, we are going to place the supply and return point. First we will connect the pipes, with the vertical pipe, using the perpendicular snap. After that the supply and return point will be placed using the endpoint snap. Execute the network recognition command to see if the network is drawn correctly. All the problems like unconnected segments will be detected and the user will be informed to make the corrections. Here the network is recognized without any problems and we can continue to the calculations. With that command the single pipe heating system application will open. First of all the calculations must be updated from the drawing. In the windows calculation sheet all the circuits for the levels are placed. On Network Option menu, we can see the basic parameters, such as, the water temperature, the pipe types, the desired pipe size, the calculation method etc. In order to calculate the temperature drop, for the self-balancing method we need to define the temperature drop for the first circuit of the last floor. When that temperature is defined, all the calculations will be done. With right-click, you can select Calculation of Radiators. The network options and the results of the circuit are displayed. From the Windows tab, we can select some more menus, like Network Calculation, Hot Water Tank Calculation, etc. A boiler can be selected from the libraries of the program. The vertical diagram, only for the single pipe system, is created from the computer program. The printouts can be linked to Word, 
for M Editor in Excel or can be exported to RTF or PDF. Return to the drawing and update the plan view, with the calculations and the real sizes of the radiators. The network can be converted to 3D. Axonometric and vertical diagram are automatically produced. All the new drawings will be saved on the BLD folder of the project.